Today we're going to be going through a demonstration of our software. Our 3D Bolus home screen shows the different modules available to users. To date, we have developed a simple bolus module, a modulated electron bolus module, and a surface brachytherapy applicator module. Our software allows for new modules to be incorporated into our existing software interface and to follow roughly the same workflow for ease of use to our users. The simple bolus module allows users to convert any structure created within the treatment planning system into a printable object or an STL file. This could be a uniform thickness bolus to be used in photon treatment, a complex shape designed to fit into cavities such as the nostrils, or generic shapes to be used anywhere on the body. The input into our simple bolus module is the CT scan information, as well as the structure set information that comes from the treatment planning system. The simple bolus module allows users to convert any structure created within the treatment planning system into a printable object or an STL file. This could be a uniform thickness bolus to be used in a photon treatment, a complex shape designed to fit into cavities such as the nostrils, or generic shape to be used anywhere in the body. Once the user selects the simple bolus module from the home screen, they are prompted to select browse and navigate to the folder housing the patient information, which I have already completed. 3D Bolus then imports the patient's CT scan acquired during their CT simulation and all structures contoured in the treatment planning system, including tumor volumes, organs at risk, and any bolus objects. The software is designed to resemble a treatment planning system with three planar views, axial, coronal, and sagittal, as well as a 3D rendering of the selected structure from the import list. Image manipulation including pan, zoom, and window level are all available within the three planar views. After the import of the CT and DICOM information, the user can select from the drop-down list the structure they wish to print. Editing tools such as a cropping plane to ensure a flat surface with the print bed, as well as smoothing, are available in this editing feature. The user can then toggle between the imported bolus structure and the edited bolus structure export the bolus as a DICOM structure for viewing in the TPS or simply export as an STL for printing. Now let's take a look at the modulated electron bolus module, which allows users to reshape the bolus to allow the isodose line to conform to the PTP. Keeping consistent with the simple bolus module, we can browse for our patient information. Our modulated electron bolus module imports the CT scan coming from the CT simulation, the RT structure set coming from the treatment planning system, as well as the RT DICOM plan information, also coming from the treatment planning system. three planar views, axial, coronal, and sagittal, as well as a 3D rendering of the stru selected structure from the structure list are shown. Pan, zoom, and window level are also available options for our three planar views. The three structures that we need in order to properly modulate a bolus are an initial bolus structure created in the treatment planning system, a prescription isodose line converted to a structure, as well as a target volume. We can select those three parameters over here from the drop-down menu. And select Start Optimization. Editing features such as a cropping plane and smoothing are available in the new 3D rendered model of the modulated electron bolus, which can be seen here in this axial slice. 
the prescription isodose line remains the same as the initial dose calculation. We allow our software to communicate with the treatment planning system by exporting the new bolus structure as a DICOM image to be re-imported into the TPS for recalculation of the dose. Once the user is satisfied with the new dose calculation, the structure can be exported as an STL for 3D printing.